In this video, I will be showing you how to connect two additional monitors to your Mac laptop. There are several ways to do this, but this method is a little less expensive. In this example, I will be connecting two additional monitors through HDMI cables. I have my first monitor connected with an HDMI cable through a mini display port to HDMI adapter. I have my second monitor connected with an HDMI cable through the USB Display Adapter Pro. Since I only have one Thunderbolt connection, I have to connect the second monitor through USB. The USB Display Adapter Pro gives you several options to connect through HDMI, DVI, or VGA. Inside the box, you get the adapter, the DVI to HDMI adapter, the DVI to VGA dongle, a USB 3.0 micro cable, the user manual, and the installation disk. I had the High Sierra operating system, but I recently upgraded to Mojave 10.14.6. If you have an older operating system, you will have to download the 3.0 version. If you have Mojave 10.14.6 or higher, you can download the 5.0 version. When I used the old version, there was a lag when I would move a web page from the first to the second monitor. There was also a lag in videos in the second monitor. When I upgraded to Mojave 10.14.6, it resolved the lagging issues and everything is fluent on all screens. You can see my HDMI cable connected to the DVI to HDMI adapter. I have the adapter connected through USB to the computer. The device you see is a GearHead 4 port USB hub. This is an inexpensive way to connect multiple USB devices. Once you get everything connected, you will need to identify all three screens under Displays and System Preferences. Open System Preferences, click on Displays, then click on Arrangements. The white bar identifies your main screen. You can configure them however you want, and I have it arranged like this to resemble how they look on my desk. You also may need to make a change in mission control. If there is a check mark and displays have separate spaces, you need to remove it and restart your computer. I did a previous video showing how to do this and the link is in the description. Once you have completed all these steps, you will have three separate screens. I hope it works for you and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.